So people have asked me for a pro level physique assessment. So I'm going to do a review here with Anya and we're going to go into her last show and what the future plans are and what needs to be worked on for her to get to that next level. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay. So first off, I want to go into your, your physique here on, on your presentation, on everything here. To be honest, from this pose, this is really, really good. And inc it's actually incredible how you look in this show, to be honest. And I was looking, I was like, man, why is she not placing higher with this look? Because this look is like on the money. And as I look like more and more in details, and I look at the walking, and I look at everything, I think that that's where the issue is. It's not when you hit your poses, it's a lot of it's in your overall just presentation. And so I wanted to go into that, but there is a few things that you can do in your overall physique that need to be worked on a little bit more. And one of them is just your core. So your core, when you're this lean, because you're pretty lean here, but you do look like you could get leaner just because you don't have the amount of detail you need in your core to really look as lean as you are when you're this lean. Because if you got any leaner, your legs would be totally strided. You already had striations in your legs already. Your hamstrings would start separating. Um, everything would be so, be so much detail in the lower body, then you'd have to like start pushing softer to control it in order to just to get your obliques to show up a little bit better and your core to show up better. But the reason is, is you just don't have the detail yet in the abs and in the obliques for it to show. So it looks like you're softer than you actually are. So maybe you can get a tiny bit tighter, but either way, you're gonna still gonna need more, more abs. And I think this is as tight as you should be because you're really full here, you're really tight here. It's just the core isn't popping the way we would want it to pop yet. So I think that's a big area of improvement, but everywhere else, honestly, is like really, really good. There's not much more you need in other places. The details there, the fullness is there. I mean, I think you can get a little bit more density in your um, in your in your glutes in the back pose, just a tiny bit more in this leg. I'd like to see maybe in your posing, you can give a little nudge to create a little bit of detail in this leg here. But the back, you really can't get it too much crazier than this. You know, you can get a tiny bit more in the tie-ins, just a little bit more, but there's no more in the hamstrings that you can get. The presentation looks great. You're showing a nice little bit of width to your back, not too much width. Balance is pretty decent from upper to lower. It's actually really good. So I was like, wow, that's it's a pretty incredible package, but there's a couple little things that could be better. And it's mainly the core, mainly the core. And then that leg, you could just probably squeeze on it, but it's not like you got to get a lot sharper. And then I started going into detail more so in your overall presentation. And that's where, that's honestly where things are going to change for you for the, the biggest aha moments was when I was watching these videos. And uh, the cool thing is you were next to some really, really high level people. So obviously Brie is like, you know, you don't get much higher level than that. And so when I'm watching her in this walk and watching you in this walk, there's a couple different things that you could see here. Okay, so when she walks, watch the movement of her hips. You see how they're not going side to side, which is like the trend of everyone else right now. Everyone's rotating, 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 right? She's like one of the only top pros that's not rotating her hips like that. But look at how full her glutes are staying versus everyone else, right? Everyone else is rotating and look at how, how much flatter their glutes are getting when they're in that rotation. So in red, when she takes that full step over, you could see this, it started to kind of flatten out and then Brie full glutes, right? The whole time. And then the same thing's happening with you. And I think it's only if, I think the problem is, is like, there's a lot of girls who have those wide set hips. You know, you look at like Jennifer Dory and Laura Lee and they have those wide set hips and they go side to side and they don't lose that fullness up top because they're just either they're really really developed or they have those wide set hips or they're doing something different or whatever but the trend started kind of going from the top down and everyone's doing that big you know side to side hip movement thing but that's not a requirement at all like we don't need to do that you know and i don't know if that's something that's going to help with you but what i can say is when you when you're posing and when you're walking it's a totally different level and so that's something that i think we can fix immediately is getting this, getting this to be better. Because when you're posing, you're knocking it out of the park. And then when you walk, you take those big steps, those big strides, and then your glute from the upper part of your glute disappears, you know? And so I think that that's the big thing is we just, either we have to figure out a way to walk better and keep the glutes full, or it's that long step over that you do, that big like crossover step that's stretching the upper part of the glute 
that's causing it to flatten out in the walk. And I don't, I don't know. I've never seen it so like in my face before, you know, and I haven't really been paying attention to that part of it. Um, but that's what I noticed. And I was like, when you walk that way and you're next to a brie or something, there's no, you know, it's not going to work for you. It's just, it's just too much glute and yours disappears. Right. But you have from the back pose, you're fairly competitive with her, super competitive with her. Like you probably on, a, on another day, you could probably even beat her. If it was just posing. Right. But then the walk is where you will fade a little bit. So it's cool to see that. And then the other thing is when we talked about your core, um, cause I think this is a very fixable problem. You know, I don't think it's a problem that isn't really easily fixed. Got to work on the back walk on keeping the glutes full. However you got to do that, whether that means you're shifting, you're not shifting so much side to side, or if that means you're, yeah, cause even here, you can see up here, this upper top part of the glute, it dies down on you. It's so crazy that it's so significant for you, right? And even when you take this step over, it dies down here too. So it's just for you, it's significant and for others it's not. And it's just, I think it's either we work on it or it's a luck of the draw thing. It's something that we got to figure out, you know, but it's such a takeaway when you look like this, <laughs> which is pure craziness. Look at how full your upper glutes are. Look at how full they are. They can't get much fuller or they're going to be squared off. So it's not like we need more glute. I think you need more density to your glutes. Yeah. But it's not like you need more glute. It's just the control of the walk. It's killing you. You know, that's what's killing you for sure. Because it changes your whole look. It changes from this bordering on perfection to, oh, she needs to work on things. And it's like, that shouldn't happen. You know, not with someone with your physique like yours. And the other part that I think like really hurts your, your, your overall like look is when you do your front walk. So when you're doing your front walk, because your core isn't that detailed and it's such a large area, your stomach is really flat and your obliques look good, but because there's no detail there, it looks like your conditioning isn't where it should be. And, and I think maybe you could have got maybe, like maybe a hair tighter, but honestly, I don't know if it'd make that big of a difference because you don't have the abs to really show the separation. And I think that the problem is, is if we get you any tighter, we're going to not have this fullness to your legs and glutes. And that's your thing, you know, your, your glutes being full in that back pose is like, that's what separates you from so many people. So it's this walk back where your glutes flatten out and it's the walk forward and you're doing so much walking in your presentation that you're really exposing both things. So the best thing would be get the core detailed, get the glutes detailed where you, when you walk. And then the second thing, the immediate fix would be don't walk so much in your presentation. You're exposing your weakness, you know? So, and that's what bikini is. You show your best, you hide your weakness and everyone has a weakness. Everyone has a weakness. Like, when Issa won the Olympia, I'm sure she had one. We just don't know what it is because she was hiding it, right? Everyone has something, a balance issue, uh, overdevelopment, a weak core or whatever, you know, um, that's why you see hair in all different positions. People are hiding something, you know what I mean? So don't take it like to heart. Everyone has something, Ashley has something. That's it for you. It's those little things. It's not really so much on the, like you didn't come in too soft or you came in too hard or you missed your fullness or anything like that. Like, if it was just posing <laughs> and there was no walking, I think you probably would have been like three spots higher, you know? Because I can argue that you, easily that you'd be in the top five, honestly, in like the top four, top three with your back pose and your front pose. Like, you know, I would say definitely in the back pose and probably top five in the front pose of that last show. So, you know, you finish eighth, which is good, but I think if you didn't, if you could just work on this part, and I think what it kills you too is probably right when you do your initial posing routine, you know? Cause that's when it exposes you to that long walk and then you walk back and then you walk back again. And you know, a guy like, you know, Tarek or someone who can see like this, like a second, they don't need much time. You know, it, they just need a half a second of you doing something and they're like, okay. Yeah. And then you put it in their head over and over again. And you're like, okay, they definitely have weaknesses, you know? So, um, that's it. You have pro level, everything, but your routine is your, your walk is the only thing that's not like elite level, right? Everything else is elite level back pose elite level placing top five at shows, um, front pose, elite level placing top five, second at a show, you know, and then it's like the walk and then you're going to get next to these girls like Brie and whoever. And then it's going to be like, oh yeah, she makes you look bad because well, Brie's been doing it for seven years. She better be a, a perfect at this stuff. You know what I mean? You've been doing it. This is your first full season as a pro. So it's just a learning lesson. And I'm really, really happy that you got next to Brie because it made it obvious. It was a good tool for us. So that's what we got to work on. I don't think you doing another show in the next couple weeks is going to change anything. And, um, you know, we got to get your core more detailed. 
got to get your block better. And those are the things you got to practice, you know? It's the little things now. It's not so much a body thing. It's the little things now. So what do you think? I pretty much agree with everything that you're saying. Yeah, I think my block is where I fall apart in terms of core. Uh, I definitely need more abdominal development. I can't say that I've put in as much work as I have with like my delts and my glutes with my abs. So I know I can do more of that and be more consistent with it. In terms of my walk, I can definitely work on that. I think posing is probably one of like the last areas I really need to spend more time on. And now that we can see like how I'm walking, fix that and then, you know, shorten my walks for my routine. Yeah. For the time being. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's so much your posing. I think it's your walking. Your posing is great. Your front and back pose is really not much to work on there. It's really, I think you need to nudge a little bit in your left leg to give some detail. It's, it's, I mean, there's, you could have won the show with your posing front and back. It's just the walking. That's it. That's the only place you're going to fade. Um, so it's good, you know, it's good to know. And then, you know, and then it's the core needs to be a little better to hang with the best of the best, you know, all those top, top girls, you look at like, you look at the, the Janet, Issa, Ashley, like their cores are pretty, pretty nasty. You know, they all have some serious, some serious cores, you know, and that's where I think you just need a little bit more density and detail. It's just too large of an area to not have some detail, you know? So that's it. So we get to work. We get to work.